All right, that's day one from the Paris Blockchain Week complete here at the world famous Louvre. It's me and the Mona Lisa. It's a pretty good combination. And I uh, just want to shout out the conference say that an amazing job. It was great to reconnect with so many of the people we know in the blockchain space and to see the future of the metaverse and everything that's going to be happening with the addition of AI and fascinating to also meet a bunch of our portfolio companies we've invested in with London Real Ventures and our investment club and great to just get reinvigorated and re-excited about this amazing space and the future of money, um, the way that we're all going to be connected, everything's going to be transparent on the blockchain and we're going to have a trustless system in the future where you're not going to have to trust those greedy bankers to give you their money back. Yep, I used to be one that we're going to be able to put it all on the blockchain, all through smart contracts be able to connect with each other, build real metaverses where we can connect even more with each other. And of course, have AI being able to help us construct the whole thing and of course, not take over the world. So if that's a tall order, then I'm in. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build the future of that. And that's what we do inside our academies and obviously inside our investment club and inside ventures is that we wanna be a part of this. And we're using our broadcasting channel to enable all of our CEOs, all of our portfolio companies, and hopefully help instruct the world about all these great things. So yeah, it's been fantastic. And uh, it's always great to be in Paris, you know, two hours away from London, and you might as well be on Mars. Like it's just a different place around here. They do things differently, and I love them for it. And uh, Paris Blockchain Week is amazing. They do a great job, uh, incredible conference. A lot of amazing people here today. I saw a lot of old London real guests like Yatsouf Man and Mocha Brands and Robbie Young and Sebastian Bourget and all sorts of great people that have been on the show before and that are a big part of our message as well. So it's been great. That's day one in the bag. Doing day two tomorrow. If you're here, come see me. If you, if you uh, wanna know how to find me, just look for the guy in the pinstripe suit. Uh, and you'll find me and uh, yeah, it's been fantastic. So, you know, look, a lot of people think that blockchain and crypto is about the price of Bitcoin. And quite frankly, I don't care what the price of Bitcoin, I didn't check it today and I probably won't check it this week because that's not the point. That's just the asset value of one of the instruments. This is a, a shift in human paradigm. Uh, this is a different way that we're looking at the world. And if you saw what the internet did to the world, that by the way, many people said was never gonna be anything. Uh, then you'll see that what we're doing here is gonna change the very fabric of human existence, how we relate to each other, how we even allow freedoms with each other. And that's why this is so important. I just saw Yatsu of Anamoka Brands and he said, digital property rights is what it all comes down to. Will you be able to digitally own something without a government or a bank trying to get in the way? If we can keep this right to ownership, then we can keep our right to freedom of speech and our right to financial freedom. And uh, you know I don't like it when people tell me what not to say. And this is all interrelated into the blockchain, which is why we're so passionate about it, because I believe in freedom of speech. I believe in human freedoms. And to keep that, we gotta make sure that the metaverse is open. Sorry, Mark Zuckerberg. We have to make sure that all of this stuff is decentralized. And if we can do that, we've really got a chance. So that's what it is, folks. Check it out. Crypto is not just about making a bunch of money overnight. It's actually not what it's about. So start educating yourself today, because if you don't understand this, these central banks, right, are gonna create these CBDCs and they're gonna shove them down your throat. And before you know it, it's gonna be, you know, oppressed China all over again. And that's not really what we're looking for. I don't want a system where I'm gonna have a social score and I'm gonna be able to be restricted by what I say or don't say. And I don't want my money to be able to be taken away from me in a moment's notice based on a behavior. Sound familiar? Some of the Western world is doing this too we can prevent it with blockchain. So there you go. I'm gonna go uh, to one of these crazy ass parties they're going to now. And uh, I'll be back here at the blockchain tomorrow. Wishing you lots of love from Gay Paris. What a beautiful place, the city of light. And uh, that's it, signing off, Paris Blockchain Week. Peace.